Good morning. All right, so we are now going to start to assemble all of these uh, FantaCube pieces, the inserts, into our FantaCube. So we're going to click on the assembly of our FantaCube. I'm going to turn it this direction, turn it around so I can see where I'm going to put this first piece. The first piece I'm going to choose is the let's see fancy cube folder and i want my handle peg remember your handle peg if you don't have a version of it you're going to need to create a version of it first once you have that version of it we can set it down here doesn't matter where we put it green check mark okay first thing i want to do is i want to get this flat surface lined up with this flat surface so i'm going to use my good old planer mate and I'm going to choose the flat surface and the flat surface. Now it's on the inside. I don't want it on the inside. So I've got to reverse it and green check mark. And you know what? I can exit out of this too. Now it still moves around. It's even through the handle. It's not quite what I want. I'm going to move it over here so I can kind of manipulate it still. When I move it, it's still stuck up against that edge. So, back to isometric so I can see it. <clears throat> this time I'm going to use a cylindrical mate, which means I'm going to choose cylinders and put those two cylinders together. So I'm going to come here. This is not the cylinder. Um, I want to, oh, it is the cylinder. So it, that is the cylinder. If I rotate this, use my arrow keys and spin it around, you can see that it is the cylinder that I'm choosing. So I'm going to choose that cylinder. And I'm going to come over here and I want to choose the inside cylinder. There it is <clears throat> of our handle. When I choose those two cylinders, green check mark, come back to isometric and you can see now that it slides just inside that cylinder. Okay. Last one. We're going to do a planar mate one more time and we want to get this plane here, this edge of the pin and the front of my cube. I want to get those two lined up, but I want it halfway in between the handle, halfway in and out. So I'm going to use an offset. That offset, we know that the distance from here to here is going to be 0.25. And then I want it to be centered in here. Well, we know that the handle peg is 0.25 smaller than the face, the right face here. So I'm going to divide that by two. And so I'm going to say plus 0.125. So it's 0.125 is half of 0.25. And then if I say enter, you'll notice that it goes forward and that's not what I want. So what I really want is I want it to be negative. So I'm going to put a negative sign there and it'll bump it back. And that puts it directly in the center of our face here. Green check mark. First one done. 